What's up guys, this is Sim with Ventures and I am back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, ladies and gentlemen, it's season four. And we are back and better than ever as the UAB Blazers are at home taking on the Memphis Tigers in the Battle of the Bones. And if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like and hype for season four as this season is hoping to be better than last. As last year we finished 12 and two. Amazing year, right? I mean, you can't get much better that than that for UAB football. Well, you can. This year, our goal is to go undefeated. And it's very hard to do in college football. We're looking to go to the national championship, guys. We are not settling for some Rose Bowl. We want to go for it all. And we have the weapons. We have the tools. We are an underdog, and no one expects us to be this good. And yet... Here we are being shoved under the rug once again because we're not the top tier college football team. No, we're in Conference USA. No one in Conference USA goes to national championships. Come on now. But with this team, I think we could do it. Last year, we went to the Rose Bowl. We beat Ohio State in overtime. But hey, a win's a win. And look at that. Number two, Ohio State. We beat them last year. And guess what? Notre Dame's number one, and they're actually overall worse better than us uh, better worse than Ohio State so I actually think our team could win a national championship this year if we're given a fair shot at least because at least I don't know if the BCS will screw us over or not but hey you know we're gonna give it our best and try and go undefeated we have a pretty good schedule lined up for us we have uh, Memphis this week we have TCU we have an SEC opponent in Tennessee and I do think we have another um, Opponent, I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, we still have a very good schedule ahead of us as far as the out of conference schedule goes. And you know, the conference USA has been getting better, Louisiana Tech's been getting better. Uh, you know, teams like Florida International are getting better. Um, you know, this this conference is no longer a pushover. Western Kentucky is also a handful to deal with with their, with their offense, so you know, you can never be too safe. Um, Marshall's also a problem to deal with. Middle Tennessee State's also a problem. Old Dominion, not really much of a problem. We could take care of them if we really wanted to. But I don't think we played them this year. But nonetheless, take a look at the Heisman race. UAB quarterback Chris Jones is in the Heisman race. Just so it goes to show, you know, how much hard work pays off. So we got a shot this year. If you guys think that we can win a national championship, let me know in the comment section. If you know we, if you think we're still a year or two away, by all means, you know, I mean, this is probably our best chance to win it for quite some time. I mean, we got a good quarterback coming up after Chris Jones and Justin Kelly, and then we have Andy Payne already starting at defensive end. But I'm just saying, like, this is our best chance to do it for at least this year. And then if we don't win it, we, it's going to take a couple more years to rebuild what we have this year but i do have faith in this team we have faith in uab football get ready for some good old hard hitting football today memphis versus uab in the battle of the bones grab your drinks grab your popcorn sit back and relax and enjoy the game bringing you the ea sports ncaa football 14 pregame show presented by nissan innovation that excites Memphis and UAB have taken the field and they're wrapping up pregame warmups as we give you a live look inside the stadium as the Tigers and the Blazers get set in the battle for the bone. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. And welcome to Legion Field here in Birmingham, Alabama, as the Memphis Tigers are coming in to the Blazer land and taking on the UAB Blazers, who finished number two in the nation last year and also won the Rose Bowl. 
So now we have James Hester Jr., our freshman six foot six wide receiver who came to UAB and you guys created him. You guys made up this guy and look at him. He is taking the first play of the UAB season out to near midfield. So you guys, you guys made some promising players, that's for sure. So let's see how we can do here. Chris Jones dropping back on his third down and four play. He's going to take it himself, and he's going to get the first down on that play. Liking what I see right there out of Chris Jones. Chris Jones always doing the finest of work, and in good reason because he's up for a he's up for a Heisman this year, ladies and gentlemen. He could win a Heisman given that he, he performs this year. And, well... Defense has got to perform, and we got to win too. We got to win games in order for this to happen. So Jones again, drop it back, gets it off to Michael Grimes. Look at him breaking tackles, getting that first down. Third down and four here. We're gonna try and run a sweet play, see if we can get this first down. Off to Matt Ford, and there's no blocking to help him out as he is taken down for a loss of five yards. And now we're gonna settle for the field goal here from Green. Kick is up and through the uprights. It's good. So now it is. Set, uh, three nothing UAB we get on the board first to start off our season looking pretty good third down and ten here Brown drops back looking steps up and throws a deep bomb but this one is gonna be intercepted by Brown and that one is going to set us up for another good possession here as we take it past midfield as uh, get our first turnover of the season and now UAB looking like they're gonna you know possibly get another score and we get a handoff here to Aaron Hicks, taking it left side. He's got some blockers in front of him, and he's taking it down to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, and he's down at the 5. And he is down it for a first and goal, looking like we could score a touchdown here on this possession. Later on, it's third and goal from the 2. Can we get it, push it in? Can we get a touchdown on this drive? And the defense actually plays that out really well, and uh, we end up settling for another field goal. So if we would have handed off, we still would have lost yards. You know, either way. So the defense played that really well. And you got to give him credit where it's due. So it's now 6 nothing here in the first quarter. So a minute 23 left. Brown in the shotgun all by himself here on a first and 10. And they're going to go with a little option play from the shotgun. And look at Ty Brown taking this one all the way past midfield down to the 45-yard line for a pickup of 29 yards and a first. Third down and 19 here. 48 seconds left here in the first. Let's see what they could do here. Now they're behind midfield. Brown dropping back, looking to a wide open player called, you know, Tyrone Berry, and he gets the first down. I know you guys don't know Tyrone Berry, but you you, you won't get to know him either because he's not really going to make much of an impact for the rest of the game, let's face it. But anyway, they get it off to Greg Edwards, touchdown, Memphis. It's now 7 6. So, but now I wasn't too happy with the way our defense played on that possession. So, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of trickery myself. Play a little read option game. Let's see what we can do. Chris Jones picks up 11 yards on that play and a first. And now, later on, 20 seconds left here in the first quarter. Let's see what we could do. Play action. Here's Jones looking over the middle, caught by Donald Hills. He's supposed to be an All American this year. And, you know, deservedly so, he was one last year. So, 12 seconds left. Jones again. Looking for Donald Hills once again, and he's got some room to run as he's going to take this one into the end zone for the touchdown. 44 yards out. It's now 13-7. to We did not go for two because it's, I feel like it's too early in the game to do that. So second down and 12 here for Brown and the Memphis Tigers. Drop back looking. It's caught by George. Uh, gets out of bounds and picks up 18 yards. So later on, Ty Brown doing all right so far besides that one interception. But let's see how he does here on a third down and 11. Brown dropping back, looking to the right side. It's intercepted by Jared Lewis. Ty Brown went to Jared, and he got his answers. Uh, you know, he got his answer there. I mean, he didn't propose to anybody, but, I mean, he got his answer on that pass right there. But third down and 12. Here's Jones looking over the middle. Donald Hill's first down. Oh, or not. We thought that the refs would give it to him, but no. Fourth and inches. Here we go. We're going to go for it. And we're going to hand it off to Aaron Hicks, who's having a pretty good game so far. He gets a first down. Picks up three, but it's more than enough to pick up the first. You know, we only needed inches, but we got three yards out of it. So it's only helping us out in the long run, right? So it's third, second down and seven here. Chris Jones on the read option, has some blockers in front of him, and he gets the first down. Already 81 yards rushing in the first half. Running the ball with some pretty good efficiency. 
And, you know, we like to have that balanced attack. Uh, third down and nine play action here from Jones. Looking to the right side. It is going to be caught by Donald Hills at the one. And now later on in the drive, it's going to be first and goal. Very next play. Sweep left to Aaron Hicks. And he's going to take this one into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's going to be now 20-7. to As UAB looking like they're going to run away with this early on in the game. But now there's still plenty of football left. Only down by two scores. But the defense has been playing so well. Forcing turnovers. You know, making stops. What we need to do on this defense. You know, we, what I've been looking for in this defense for quite some time. Remember when the first dynasty started, man, we were just struggling left and right. But now we're making plays and everything else in between. So now later on, we do make another play right there. Ty Brown just cannot complete a pass. Then again, it is raining, so I can make an exception for that. They don't hit them at the greatest receiver set, so I give him a little pass for that. But he has a lot of drop passes and also a lot of interceptions as well. But that's just me. But now Ty Brown here with 42 seconds here, trying to get himself and his team in a position to try and bring it down to one score. So they start with the ball here in the second half. But Andy Payne, the guy he brought in to do the dirty work on the defensive side of the ball, gets to the quarterback for the first time in his collegiate career. And that is a great way to start it off right here. As now Jared Lewis gets another interception on third and 13. As now we have a first down and 10 here near midfield. Second down and eight here. Five minutes to go here. Jones dropping back, looking underneath Aaron Hicks. And he gets the first down. Pick up of 11 yards. Let's see if we can make it a 20-point lead here in the third quarter. This would really put it out of reach, I think. And Jones dropping back, looking over right side. And you know who that man is. That is Donald Hills. You guys know him very well. Kind of like you guys did know Matt Weiss. Remember that guy from a few years back. He was putting in the finest of work. And now Donald Hills is doing exactly what Matt Weiss did. Picking up the pieces. And Aaron Hicks picking this one up for a touchdown. Making it 27-7. And Chris Jones, 14-19 passing for over 200 yards. Putting in the finest of work today. And we hope that he could continue that Heisman campaign-like games. Those Heisman campaign-like games in the rest of the season. First down and 10 here. Here's Brown trying to take it for himself. And he gets the first down. Good for him. But now they're past midfield. Defense, what are you doing out here? You cannot let this guy get a touchdown. You can't. You just can't. We got to put in the finest of work on defense. You got to force the turnovers. You got to force the quarterback to get some pressure on him. But he does. we do get pressure on him there. But he just gets off a beautiful pass right there. And now they're inside you know, the 20-yard line. They're inside the red zone down to the 5-yard line. Third down and goal here. They're trying to get something here. But let's see what they can do. They got their tight end in motion. They got Murray in the backfield. They get it off to him, but the defense is right there. A couple guys right there to make that stop. Jared Lewis was one of them. He's making plays today all over the field. But he does make that stop. And now they're going to settle for a field goal right here. And it's now 27-10 to 10 with under three to go here in the third quarter. So here comes UAB and their high hawk octane offense off to James Hester Jr. taking it down to the 42 yard line pickup of 18 yards but now later on first and 10 very next play Grimes in motion let's see what we could do on this play action looking and that one was probably not very smart actually it was not very smart we probably would have probably better off lofting the pass but we threw a bullet instead and it was an interception so now we got to play better on defense. But the defense right there swarming to the ball as they read that run play out like it was just right there, right in front of their faces. They're going to attempt here a 58-yard field goal to try and make it a 14-point deficit for Memphis. This is a long field goal attempt, though. So it's wide right, and it is probably short. Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell you if it was short or not. I'm pretty sure it was, though. But third down and nine here for UAB. Thir uh, Jones dropping back, scrambling to his right. Finds a wide open Thurman Knox, and he is going to have a free trip to the end zone. Knock, knock, who's there? Thurman Knox in the end zone. Touchdown, UAB. 34-10. to 10. Hey, defense is playing well today. Offense is playing well today. And look at this. Easy to read screen pass. Bob Bryant's right there, and he's got himself a pick six. As it's now 41-10. to 10. As this game is getting ugly. As now they're just making mistake after mistake after mistake. <laughs> right? It's just turning into a bloodbath here. It's looking like the NBA Finals. Oh, my Lord. Third down and two here for UAB. Let's see if we can just run this clock out and 
you know, move on with our lives because this game is getting ugly. As they do make the stop right there, as our our rushing attack has been kind of quiet here in the second half. We've been actually not having very good runs, and uh, yeah, we we they've dominated the ball here in the second half. But you know, <laughs> the defense is still playing well, so I'm not even going to complain. Fourth down and five here after they get that completion here. And let's see if they can get another first down to keep themselves alive here and try and get themselves a score. And they can't. So now, defense, good stand right there. They haven't been able to play very well all game long. And now we're just going to try and run the clock out. Aaron Hicks up the gut. And he gets the first down, so that's always a good sign to keep the chains moving. You know, Aaron Hicks, 11 carries, 63 yards. Having himself a pretty good game. And uh, we hope that it continues throughout the season because, man, we could certainly use a good running attack. Jones looking here on third and five, and this one is going to be incomplete. So now, are we going to give the ball back? No, well, we're going to kick the field goal here. We're in range. Uh, but Green just could not get that one to uh, straighten out for him. It kind of just curves to the right on him a little bit. But, hey, it's not a big deal. We're still up by 31. No biggie. Um, so they get it off the screen pass right here. I read it. I read the play, and I over-pursued. That was my biggest problem. If you looked at that last play, I did over-pursue it. So I... That was my bad. But here we go again. Brown got some pressure on him, but he gets it off to George. But I don't think there's there's clearly not enough time for a comeback, especially for 30, being down 31 points here with just under a minute to go in the game. You know, there's really not much to be looking forward to if you're a Memphis Tigers fan. Um, so Brown dropping back, looking for that screen pass, and the defense is right there to swallow that one up. Bob Bryant making plays. And now fourth down and nine. Looking like this is going to be the last play of the game if they don't get the first. And they don't. They're short by just a yard. So UAB starts off their first game of the season with a W. Final score, 41 to 10. And that was that was such a great game, guys. It was amazing. We played very well on offense, very well on defense. We forced four turnovers. Only gave a one a one away ourselves on that Chris Jones interception that probably could have been easily avoided if we would have thrown the ball a little bit differently on that one. We threw a bullet instead of a you know a lofty pass, but we did force four turnovers ourselves. Ty Brown did not have a good game, and the defense certainly shined today. Andy Payne looking like he's the future of our defense. Got a couple of sacks today. We hope that next week against TCU, who is number 17 in the nation. We can, they can provide, the defense can provide a lot of what they did today against TCU. And it's going to be a good one. So get ready for that one. So TCU versus UAB next time in this series, you will see another good football game coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, of course. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. And if you're new to this channel at all, hey, hit that subscribe button down below for more UAB football and other videos along the way. You guys have been amazing supporters. I know I haven't been putting out as many videos lately, but school's in the way. But this is my one of my free days, so hopefully I can get one out to you guys. But thank you guys so much. for Until next time, my name is Tim with Vengeance, and I'm out. Peace.